be his herd. Ralph, nobody owns these horses. No. They just run around these hills. They're free. God, I wish I had that black one. Yeah, he is just beautiful, isn't he? Magnificent animal. I spotted a herd coming down the east slope of Devlin's Ranch. Hit him down the east road. I'd go up and see me take me out riding. We'd see these wild horses occasionally. Very rare, though. Oh, what's going on? Get the rest of them. Get that big black stallion. Protected out here, man. You just cost us a lot of money, pal. Hey, clerk, are we? Right, get his camera and take care of that film. Let's go.
some weekend in the country. We come up here for two days, and we walk right into the last reel of Rio Bravo. Honey, it's not that bad. I'm all right. Well, we're going to go by the hospital and make sure you're no, all no, right. No, no, no. I don't want to go to the hospital. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. All right, well, then we're going to go by the sheriff's office and report this whole thing. What are we going to do with the sheriff's office? We got no proof what those guys were doing out there. I've got a whole roll of film right here. You were taking pictures? Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. You know, them horses is protected by law. Yeah, it was a pretty big operation, believe me. Well, it's a good thing you got them on film. That's quick thinking, man. Martha, them photographs ready yet? Tell me, wh wh why would they want to catch those horses in the first place? Well, like I say, they ain't supposed to, but uh, I guess they aim to sell them to the dog food people. They get about $40 a head. Dog food? You gotta be kidding. No. 100 head, that's $4,000. May not sound like a fortune, but as a amount of work cowboys, that's pretty good money. Times is hard. Martha, where are them photographs? We got... Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's get these. These are real good pictures, Miss Hankley. Wait a minute. These aren't my pictures. My pictures have horses and, and dust, and they were framed beautifully. Honey, did you remember to take the lens cap off? You know, I, I don't know if you people think it's funny to make games with the old country sheriff, but I got better things to do. All right, Sheriff, I was a little too busy to worry about a lens cap. I was watching those beautiful, frightened horses being rounded up, and my husband getting beaten. Honey, it's all right, it's all right. He doesn't care. Look, it happened. We saw it. You don't get banged up like this falling off a horse. You might. It's a waste of time. Uh -uh. I called Bill. While you were giving your statement, I called him. He's on his way up here with the you-know-what. He is? Are you kidding? Uh. Bill's actually coming up here to help us save a bunch of horses? It's hardly what Bill would term a, a suit-class problem. Well, I didn't tell him exactly what was going on here. What'd you tell him? I told him that it was bigger than all of us. <laughs> well, it is, Ralph. Uh, that stallion must weigh a thousand pounds. He's going to be so angry. <laughs> No, I am not a kid. I'm not gonna get mad. I don't mind doing a zillion miles across the burning sands of the great southwest because the counselor said this is bigger than anything we ever handled. The counselor doesn't lie, right? Right. Yes, you said it was bigger than both of us. Uh, actually, what I said was that it's uh, bigger than all of us. There, you see there? She said it again. I got nothing to worry about. Okay. What you got? Can't be sea monsters because uh, this is a desert. Now, what is it? What do you got? Let me start at the beginning because that's a good place to start. See, Pamela and I thought it would be a good idea if we came out to the prairie for a few days. That's right, Bill. Uh, you should try it. You know, Lovely. clean air, yeah. out of the city. Beautiful. All right, I'm out of the city. I got the fresh air now and all that stuff. Uh, bigger than all of us put together. Let's get to that part real fast, please. Bill, as you know, wildlife is a precious commodity. Much like gold or silver. I mean, it's protected by law. That's right, Bill. Go on. Girl, you did it to me again, didn't you? I don't believe it. You suckered me out here. You yanked me all the way out here to bring you to Jammy so we could dig up sick gophers or some darn fool thing. That's it, right? Tell me the truth. Well, why don't you tell him? No, you're doing great. Um... Bill, Pamela and I were taking pictures in the canyon not too far from here, and we spotted a herd of wild mustangs, beautiful horses, most gorgeous things you've ever seen in your life. Oh, I don't believe this. We're gonna save wild horses? Yeah, that's right, Bill. We're gonna try and save some wild horses. That's why we asked you to come down here and maybe help us, because we got a bunch of wild horses out there. They're gonna be slaughtered and turned into a bunch of dog food. Dogs gotta eat, too. Sick, Bill. Thanks for the suit. Thank you very much. Okay, kid, come on. Bad joke. Bad joke. Okay, Ralph. You know, those horses are federally protected. That makes it your job. That's right, Bill. Those horses are federally protected. That makes it your job. I don't believe this is happening to me. 
Well, if I can catch that horse, I'll bring him back. Okay, anything gets us out of here a little sooner. Good luck, Lee. stole those Mustangs, and we're gonna find them. Oh, come on, admit it, Bill. This kind of stuff is exciting. I mean, if we can save 50 Mustangs, you're gonna feel real good about it. Yes, I am. But my boss, whose name is Carlisle, is gonna have me stuffed, mounted, and kibbled. He is not gonna understand about this caper. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm doing it, all right? Just relax. Uh, drop me off. Sheriff's office. Stallion. Somebody finally caught him. Who does he belong to? It's hard to say. Uh, Justin King caught him once, about a couple years back, but he got away. He's got no brand on him? No. Well, I guess he belongs to you. He's been running around these hills around three years. People around here call this horse Desperado on account of there's a price on his head. It's like an outlaw. Well, what do you mean? The biggest rancher in this valley is Justin King. He owns the Triple Crown Ranch. He owns almost everything else in town, too. Mr. King put up a reward for this stallion and offered $1,000 to anybody who could bring him in. Well, uh, he, he is not for sale. Well, what are we going to do? Lay some hay in the guest room? Where did he come from? A fine-looking animal like this doesn't just happen. He's got good bloodlines. Maybe some horse racing people tried to smuggle him in to beat the animal regulations, and he got away. Well, maybe we should have him quarantined, then. Oh, I don't think so. This horse is a naturalized citizen. Been running around loose here for three years, standing guard over that herd of Mustangs. They didn't get sick, so I guess he's OK. You want to register the horse? I got the forms inside. Yes. You might want to think about entering him in that race over at the fair tomorrow. It's a $5,000 purse. Uh, hello there. Bill Maxwell, FBI, Los Angeles. Uh, I'd like to see the sheriff, and uh, I'd like to use a telephone, too, if I could. I'm Martha Wells. I'm just on a switchboard here. Sheriff Pitluck is up uh, county right now. Deputy Adams is out answering a complaint about Terry Sherman's 21st birthday party at the Elks Lodge. Them boys is breaking up a bunch of furniture. Oh, sure, sorry to hear about that. I understand uh, Ralph Hinckley come in here yesterday and made a complaint and uh, got treated like a graduate of their laughing academy. Well, he claimed Mustangs is being stolen and he had no proof. Well, this particular bunch of horses is protected by this particular fed. But I'll make this collect. So you tell the sheriff that I'm staying out at the retreat ranch, cabin number six. <laughs>
Yeah, I saw that going by in the sky there. What do we got here? The Stardust Twins, right? That's one of the guys who was stealing the Mustangs, Bill. Really? What'd you do with the horses, boys? Dropped dead, Wyatt. Uh-oh, we got a real tough hombre here, Ralph. How'd you like a trip to the moon on gossamer wings, pal? A little high flyby for these guys? What do you think, Ralph? Good. Ooh, let's uh -oh. go for a ride, OK? Just go with the flow. You're not going to like this, what you're going to see now, pal, but uh, bear it in mind. What are you, a nutcase? You think you're some kind of super guy? So tell me, you want smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking? <laughs> never seats a window seat. Let's go. Contact. Hey! Put me down! Where are we going? I'm afraid to hide! Now, do you want to tell me where those horses are? In a, in a corral somewhere on the Triple Crown Ranch, but they probably already been shipped out. Where to? Uh, ah, boy, it's a long way down there, isn't it? Uh, long way. Food processing plant. Food processing plant. Oh. You know, you are just strong. Well, who are you? The lady from the SPCA? They're just horses. They're just horses, that's all. Well, those horses are protected by law, partner. They're protected by law. Well, you ain't got nothing on us. You can't have us arrested for nothing. Well, in that case, you have a nice trip back down, all right? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Hey, wait! So, you folks got Desperado, eh? How in the world did you manage to do that? How can we help you, partner? I'm Justin King, Triple Con Ranch. I want to buy that horse. I've been wanting to buy that horse now for two years. <laughs> What the hell are you doing, mister? Mr. King, you'd be a whole lot better off moving along. You got yourself a dead horse. Okay, so I'm getting more and more interested, and uh, no, I don't like him, and yes, you got a real smart horse here. Really being silly here, Ralph. Come on, oh, like the third reel of my friend Flicka. Well, Bill, if we enter Desperado in the race, the fairgrounds, we win five thousand dollars. We can buy back the Mustangs from the slaughterhouse. They only gave forty dollars a head. Unless you'd rather explain forty wild Mustangs on your expense voucher, Bill. Oh boy, the two of you out here communing with the fleas and the flies for five minutes, and all of a sudden we're the sons of the pioneers. <laughs> You can see it in his eyes. Some men say that stallion is the devil in disguise. He's a wild one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the way he'll always be. You may break his body, but his spirit will be free. Desperate. Horse, Ralph. He's great. Drop it or get wasted. 
Hold still. Throw it in the bush. Load him up. Still a hang or Steve's this part of the country? No, but we sure shoot nosy city folk and leave them in the desert for the buzzards. Not gonna steal my horse. We already did. Try to follow us, we'll shoot him. Ralph, aren't you gonna go after them? No, you hear what he said? He said he killed Desperado. Yeah, but Kay went to an awful lot of trouble to get his hands on that horse. You think they meant it? I don't know, Bill. You saw his face. I think that's what this whole thing is about. King wants to kill Desperado. You know, Mr. Hinckley, we got people lived here all their lives they ain't filed as many complaints as you have in the last 24 hours. Well, forgive me for saying, uh, Sheriff, but I think that's because everybody around here is afraid of her being paid off by Mr. Justin King. What's that supposed to mean? You trying to say oh, I'm sure, being paid I'm, off? I'm Sheriff, saying I'm not taking very much of an interest in this Brad, job. Are you really trying to say I'm not out of this? Thing. Look, we're all upset. Our horse Please has been stolen, and we'd just like something done about it. Well, Bill, is there some way of communicating with this man that I just uh, can't get a grasp Ralph, on? Ralph, the guy made the report, filed it. Yesterday, here it is. I don't see how anybody could have done any better or any more than the sheriff here. Counselor, you know what? You need to take up a new hobby real quick, because uh, these shots uh, look like pictures of the inner workings of Villacana's mind. I'll tell you one thing. If any of King's men did rustle them wild horses, they must have been moonlighting. They're under orders of Justin King. Justin King is one of the wealthiest men in the county. And what would he want with 40 or 50, even 100 head of wild horses? He doesn't want the horses. He wants the black stallion, the heads up the herd. You mean he did all that for one stallion? That's right. He wants to kill it. Kill it? Now, where'd you get that? Well, because he said so right out there in front of the vet's office. All right. But he sure did go to an awful lot of trouble for one wild horse just so he can kill it. That's crazy. I mean, why would he want to do that? Because that's what I want. Shame to destroy an animal like that. You talk about shame. I'll tell you what a shame is. You think I've enjoyed walking around like this for two years? I tried to break that animal, and he broke me. Well, it's not as if he meant to hurt you, Mr. King. Well, no one does me over and gets away with it. Not even a horse. Yeah. Mr. King, Sheriff Pitlick is here to see you. He's just coming through the main gate. Tell him I'll be right there. You boys didn't mess up. No way, and besides, they'll never find that corral. Oh. Morning, Sheriff. Mr. King, sorry to bother you, sir, but uh, these are the people that lost that horse. Desperado, huh? Someone finally managed to catch that one after all these years, and now he gets stole. Isn't that a darn shame? Yeah, it's too bad, all right. But I don't think we've heard of any rustling on these parts, huh? Not for quite some time. Mr. King, surely you must be aware of the number of Mustangs that have been disappearing in this area recently. My wife and I witnessed a full-scale rustling operation yesterday. Jeeps and trucks, a lot of men. I'd like to think you're doing something about that, Sheriff. Those horses are protected by law. Well, now, I'm working on that matter, but, uh, well, the reason we're here, these folks think that maybe some of your boys might have stole their horse. Mr. King? I don't know what to say, Sheriff. You don't think some of them might have taken your, uh, bounty of $1,000 on that horse's head serious? I've had a price in that horse's head for two years now. That's when the horse was free. No, I don't think my boys would try to wrangle that horse of Mr. Hinckley not after he made a claim on it. I mean, no horse is worth going to jail for. You seemed to want that horse pretty badly yesterday. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, ma'am. There's nothing worse to get my anger up than having the side of my brand new Mercedes Benz kicked in. That's enough to get anybody riled up. Now, what exactly do you want, Sheriff? Well, uh, Sheriff thought maybe we might 
searched your property for the stallion. Well, <laughs> You fellas got a mess of time on your hands. There's 200,000 acres here. Well, we might start with your stables. Let's just say no. I wouldn't want to have to insist. Matt, let's show these people that we don't have their horse here, and then let's show them the hell out of here. That's sure a fine-looking walking stick you got there. It's new, isn't it? I don't need it now as much as I used to. Yeah, seems like you're getting along real good there. Horse do that to you? I mean, say, uh... Any particular horse. Oh, boy, oh, boy, look at that. That is one dandy-looking cayuse. Now, Valiant's my prize. You running him? We'll be taking down to Kentucky next year. Can't win the Derby. This afternoon, he's going to do just and proud by winning the purse over at the Fargo Fairgrounds. I've always loved horses ever since I was old enough to ride. You see, I have a certain kinship with them. Yeah, well, my experience with horses is just uh, <laughs> dumb animals. Dumb, you say, eh? Well, they got one of the finest instincts of any animal I ever came across. The real ability to sniff out those who want to cause them harm. A wild stallion, one of the meanest devils you ever come across if they don't like you too much. He's not here, hon. Maybe we were wrong. No, we're not wrong. I know he has him. We'll find him. Sure sorry if we put you out any, Mr. King. Oh, well, that's all right, Sheriff. I don't know what to do. Someone will try to steal my stallion. You plan on racing him again this year? Heading over to the fairground as soon as you fellas are gone. Yeah, judging by the look of the value. You won't have had more trouble winning this year than did last. Well, I don't know. I plan on winning that race myself. Ralph. Well, unless you're planning to ride your friend here across the finish line, doesn't seem like you got much chance, eh? <laughs> See you at the race. Mr. King, that desperado horse is going to give us trouble we don't need. I think we ought to cut him loose. Cut him loose? After all the trouble I went through to get him? No way. You still got him over at the corral? Held him, just like you said. All right, let's go. I'm going to take care of that devil personally. I don't think you should, Mr. King. Why not? And the sheriff's kind of watching, that fed and his friends. And we got to get to Fargo, we'll miss the race. Can't you let me have Cal handle it? All right, Matt, we'll do that. Now, I want you to tell me what you and your buddies were doing rustling Mustangs on my time and money. When I told you you could use the trucks and the Jeeps, it was to get that stallion, not to operate your own cheap jack rustling operation. Well, we figured we were out there and it was easy. I mean, the last thing I need in the world is to get my tail in a sling over a couple of thousand dollars worth of Mustangs. We went after that horse and we got him. I want you to leave those Mustangs alone before they trace him to my ranch. And if anybody don't like it, they have my number. I'll pass the word along, Mr. King. The truck ought to be heading for the slaughterhouse now, and uh, once it gets in Mexico, there ain't a damn thing anybody can do about it. Well, if you're satisfied, now I'm gonna head on back to town. I guess I won't be seeing you folks again until you file your next complaint, which I hope won't be too soon. Sheriff, would you do me a favor and take Pamela back to town? Sure. Go. No. Honey, Bill and I are going to go by the cabin. We're going to pick up a pair of binoculars. I want you to go to the fairgrounds and see if it's too late to make an entry in the race. What are you going to do, poke around a little bit? Yes, I'm going to poke around a little bit. OK. I know. Me... Be careful. Yes. And find us for I will. What can I say? I mean, the elections are coming up. He's a big influence around here. Well, just blame it on the FBI. Everybody else does. <laughs> Bill, I am sorry for dragging you in this whole thing, are but I really kidding? appreciate it. Come on, we're gonna punch a hole in this guy's bucket and drain his worms out. <sighs> you just get the duds on, and I'll be waiting outside the front gate. This guy just makes me so crazy. Yeah. 
I, I am absolutely outraged by this man. You are a very good friend, Bill. Let me tell you that. All right, this whole thing. all right, Ralph. Let's not make a whole toll in the saddle, chicken omelet out of it. We're gonna get these birds, and that's all. Okay, just get going. Box Canyon. I can't exactly make out where. There's no identifying landmarks. Ralph, that and 65 cents gets us a container of coffee. Bill, I gotta go. Someone's coming. I'll call you later. Yeah. One of the guys who was wrestling the Mustangs yesterday just took off with one of the trailers. OK. Well, maybe your luck just changed. Uh, you hit the silk and uh, talk me in so that he can't see me. What's the matter? Is he afraid that super guy with the cape's gonna come back and get you? You bet your boots, that's what I'm thinking. Shoo! Right down on you, he just grabbed you. It took me over two hours to get out off that peak. You know, I think maybe after I take care of Desperado, I'll come back and put you out of your misery. Oh, come on, just do it. We'll bury the carcass up at Red Rock. All right, where are they? Uh, th they? Yeah, the horses. The Mustangs you guys rounded up, where are they? Uh, I, uh, I... Seems like we got a little failure to communicate. Why don't we get some fresh air and see if I can start your tongue wagging? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Here we go! I'm afraid of heights! See, it gets easier the second time you fly, doesn't it? Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Don't leave me up here again. Not again. Just don't talk. The horses, where are they? 
They're at the slaughterhouse in Mexico, but they're long gone, over an hour ago. Which plant? Which plant? Come on, oh, which don't plant? Do don't do that again. The pu Puppy Love Company. Oh, the Puppy Love Company. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy, help me. You want me to take you down? Yeah, yeah. You know, I love it when you beg. I'm begging. I'm begging. Forget oh. it, Charlie. You're out of luck. Oh, don't. Go leave. Don't leave me up here again. I'm going to be sick. I'm, I'm going to be sick. Hey! Help! Come back here. Don't leave me. Somebody help me. Yeah, OK. One over and one under. Put them on yourself. Oh, I see you had a little experience with that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, kid. Well, we got them back anyway. That's the main thing, right? Yeah, Bill, but they got the other horses. They took them down to Mexico. They're gonna turn them into dog food. Oh, boy, when'd they leave? Over an hour ago. Well, I don't know what to tell you, kid. Uh, we're kind of grounded out here. Uh, nobody at a dog food factory in Mexico is going to admit to bringing illegal horses across the border, and in Mexico, no crime's been committed. Yeah, well, I got the name of the factory. Why don't we call them and tell them we're gonna buy them back? Buy them back when you win the race, yeah. right? Well, the race starts in less than an hour, Ralph. Well, let's get moving, all right? Get the trailer. <laughs> Desperado. Come on, kid. Move it. Bill, put the trailer on the back of my car. We can't take this. Well, we got to take it anyway. Eventually, it's uh, evidence, part of the collar. We'll come back to get your car. And when I come back to get this crepe here. I don't know. I sent the cow out there, just like you said. It's like we've got some restocking to do. Hey, like to register for the race? Is there still a chance? Well, you got about 30 seconds to fill out this form, and that'll be $50. $50? Bill, I need $50. How much have you got? Well, I got nothing. I'm a school teacher. Yeah, well, I, I just had like a 20, two. So you got your horse back. That's right. I got my horse back. Bet you're wondering how I did that, huh? By the way, the guy who works for you down at the corral, he isn't going to want his job back. Okay? No, he decided to join a traveling geek show. Here, got a shifty. You're too late. It's post time. That's right. You're already registered, hon. I knew you'd find Desperado. All right, Mr. King, looks like you're standing downwind from a great big pile of fertilizer. We'll see you after we win the race. Come on, Ralph. Got to get you some silks. Oh, honey, I want you to call Mexico at the slaughterhouse, and I want you to tell them we're going to buy back all the Mustangs. Uh, Ralph, you haven't won the race yet. Yeah, but we're gonna win. Um, that horse can't win. Well, Desperado's never been raced before, so he's uh, not gonna respond to the bell. He's gonna be real slow at the gate, but once he gets started, he's the fastest. Matt, I said that horse can't win. Now see to it. thinks he's doing. I mean, come on, how does he know that horse is fast? He's got the suit on. The suit works on him, not on horses. We'll do it. The horses are at the gate. Number three, the last to enter is Desperado. The flag is up. And they're off and running. Breaking out first was fast shakers. The Italian set of that to get away all very close, followed by Ladies Pal out of luck. Into money, QB7, Rafferty's dream, successful venture. It's Valiant in the lead by a length with Fast Caper second and Old Ashley third. 
into the first turn. It's, it's Valiant, followed by Fast Caper and Getaway in third. And at the clubhouse turn, it's still Valiant with Fast Getaway. It was a hit. Okay, hold it, Turkey. Freeze it right there. Yeah, let's have that one. And at the second turn, it's still Valiant, followed by the number two horse, Fast Caper and Getaway in third. Now, loosen up and watch the race. You're gonna love this one. Now, now pulling into the, the back stretch. It's yes, Valiant, followed by Fast Caper, third. And get away with, with any splice, splice moving, moving up between, up between the horses. horses. Coming to the three quarter mark. cage and collect your win. Thank you. Thank you. We did it! We did it! I got through. They have the Mustangs and they said for $5,000 we can have them all. Oh, kid, you did it! <laughs> you did it, but you stood on, you brought it home. It's so ribby. I got King and his goons nailed down behind the screens, okay? So, so I'll button up. Listen, next week, Rio Dos Dos, New Mexico, big claiming race. No, we no, can no, do no, this no, again. No, 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 no. Do the whole stay up. No, we can do it. Let's go. <laughs> Some men say that style. 